He is known for his extensive and varied catalog of works as a composer. His reputation today rests mainly on his activities as a music publisher. His name is Franz Anton Hofmeister. In the world of classical music, one name stands out as a legendary figure, Franz Anton Hofmeister. Born in Rottenburg am Neckar on May 12, 1754, Hofmeister initially pursued a career in law. However, his true passion soon led him down a different path. By the 1780s, Hofmeister had become one of Vienna's most celebrated composers, with a vast collection of works to his name. But it was not just his compositions that made Hofmeister renowned. He also made a significant impact as a music publisher. In 1785, he established one of Vienna's first music publishing businesses, which quickly gained prominence. Second only to Artaria & Co., which had entered the field five years earlier, Hofmeister's publishing house became a hub for talented composers of the time. Hofmeister's publishing venture allowed him to share his own compositions with the world, but he also championed the works of other great composers. Renowned figures like Haydn, Mozart, Beethoven, Clementi, Albrechtsberger, Ditterstorff, and Wanhell found a platform for their music through Hofmeister's publishing house. These composers were not just colleagues, but also close friends of Hofmeister. Mozart even dedicated his string quartet in D to him, and Beethoven affectionately referred to him as his most beloved brother. In 1799, Franz Anton Hofmeister embarked on a concert tour with flautist Franz Thurner, with plans to reach as far as London. However, their journey was cut short in Leipzig, where Hofmeister formed a close friendship with organist Ambrosius Cunnell. Recognizing their shared passion for music, the two decided to establish a music publishing partnership. In no time, they founded the De Bureau de Musique, a publishing house that would eventually be taken over by the renowned C.F. Peters, a firm that remains active to this day. Hashtag continue hashtag One of the notable achievements of the Bureau de Musique was the publication of the first edition of Johann Sebastian Bach's keyboard works in 14 volumes. This groundbreaking publication solidified Hofmeister's reputation as a composer and publisher of great importance. In fact, Friedrich Hofmeister, a publisher who would later make significant contributions to the music industry, learned the trade while working as an assistant in the Bureau de Musique. Hashtag continue hashtag until 1805, Franz Anton Hofmeister managed both his Viennese firm and the Leipzig publishing house simultaneously. However, in March 1805, he made the decision to transfer full ownership of the Bureau de Musique to his trusted partner Cunnell. Around the same time, his interest in the Viennese firm began to fade, and in 1806, he sold the 20-year-old business to the chemist Druckery. This allowed him more time to focus on his true passion, composition. Hashtag continue hashtag as a composer, Franz Anton Hofmeister gained high respect from his contemporaries. His talent and contributions to the music world were acknowledged in Gerber's Neues Lexikon der Tonkünstler, which was published in the year of his death. Hofmeister's legacy as both a composer and publisher lives on, leaving an indelible mark on the history of music. Do you want to explore more composers? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.